I'm here at the Hobby Superstore. Come on inside and just take a look. Let's continue on with the walkthrough. If the trucks are not your speed, maybe an RC rat, a cockroach, or a spider. No matter what you're into, you have loads of fun. For $15.99 and now back up to $60. Maybe one day I'll get the iPod, iPhone, iPad. Till then, when batteries improved on these cell gadgets, we'll then head to a helicopter. $9. The FCE 500. Two helis, one vector. It's a combo pack, 50 bucks a piece. Not bad if you ask me. Here's where the UMs and the champs and all the good stuff, a decision should be made of in my next new plane. Not much really to choose from, not much on display, but my last look, very super contented with what I own. Maybe in the near future, I may want to try the Striker 180. The Playmate looks pretty much and the J3 Cub of the same plane. The Snap and Fly is a very good concept. The All Bright may be my next one. But the Herbalites for $21, that small of a wing airframe, may not be the one to pass up. It is a light flyer and looks very, very cool. Such a big store. And this is the one box of all the champ parts. It's amazing. Finally, walking away from the aisles of the helis and planes for $50 the BLH 2700 blade scout left right forward and reverse may be the one I will look for at a later date so these are the uh, trains and taking a look at some of the models we'll walk towards the front and say it's been a pleasure. Pretty interesting in the different types of model scales and landscaping you have. I remember having one of these types of uh, train kits and it was well worth a lot of money until a hurricane wiped it all away. And here are the parts to build. From the locomotive all the way to the caboose, you have all these different types of models. Very, very interesting, especially the older types. From old to modern. different types of scales and this is where you drool having every single one unreal if you ask me unreal just look at the art the craftsmanship something that this doesn't go outside you can always have over and over this is what I would really love to have the small scale models Nothing stops me. Here, wow. Such great detail, that's all I can say. Right down to the nitty gritty street lamps, light bulbs, wooden construction, 
Even the people. Man, imagine coming here. And look at this. People mooning. Oh, perfect for the champ. This is what you would need to put something on the champ. All the detail. Right down to the trees and landscaping, like I said. What detail. Look at that. When you cannot fly, the best thing to do is watch your little wind power on those windy days. How much fun could that be? Little wind generators. Walking out before and looking at some of the tools that you have. Very simple tools for the plane. Or any product that you could think of. Having a good set of tools will get the job done right. Heating iron, soldering irons, hot wing foam sculpting tool. $27. That is neat. Wood burners, more foam cutters. Beautiful. Very, very uh, interesting. And right there, how to do some foam factory builds. Low temp foam glues, magnifying glasses, scissors, and masking tape. Dremels, anywhere you can get. And your table for building cutting mat. That is interesting. Your knives. And a mini miter box. This would be the spot where I would get my glue. CA glue. Fiberglass stuff and CA glue is not here to see. Zap a cap CA glue right here. We have a total adhesive system. Little jaw, medium to slow zap, deep bonder. The proper stuff to use. Accelerators and zip kicker. Lastly but least, paint, 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 paint. All the different colors you need. Additives to paint, jars of paint, different colors of paint and the models for paint. Different racks, different systems, and different kits. Even jars and compressors and guns. Magazines, magazines from cars, building, and aeroplanes. Vista View Flyers, Broward, Florida. Kevin Watkins, please come to your seat. Kevin Watkins, to your seat. Good old fashioned rocketry. Something interesting, old, and fun. And some slot car races, the old slots. This is a Super Cub Mini. That would be probably my next plane. This is all the parts. So I think I am pretty contented with the model and the models that I have. Super Cup, and then maybe the Mini Cup. 
I walk around, I only got a couple more. These are just the other parts, so they are sectioned. Not bad if you ask me. Those are just models that are thrown together. Well, the next plane is going to be the Mini Super Cup. And that's what I like. Compared to the larger scale Super Cup. So I will have three planes in the house. The Mini Super and Champ. Those are the three I want. And I have. And I'll be contented. My last decision is definitely going to be walking out with one of these. I'm going to just double check the helicopters. The Phoenix V3 Professional Radio Control Flight Simulation. I'm trying to look on the box if it includes the DX5E. Maybe the software can be found for $119 versus buying a new controller and software. So I ended up getting myself a new TX, returned to the correct one. Not bad, had to add another dollar. On to other ones. Make a smart move, no matter what it is, and enjoy. Have a great time, and then look for my future conclusion video soon to come. You guys, thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed this long, extensive walk around of the Hobby Superstore in Plantation, Florida. Have a great day and thank you for joining me on the trip.